Hi aspirants, this is Dr. Shivam Bhardwaj and I will be discussing the strategy for oral and maxillofacial surgery. I will be telling you the books to read, the important topics and of course the weightage of the subject. So stay tuned. Now let's gear up for the strategy for oral surgery. So this is a wonderful subject and most of the people who have taken the BDS, they'll be uh, willing to get into the MDS for the oral surgery, right? And those who are doing the general dentistry also, they'll be having more charm for the oral surgical procedure for sure. So this oral surgery uh, is one of the core subject of the dentistry, I must say. It is uh, something that connects us to the surgery and that's why we should have a very good approach for this particular subject. So what are the prerequisites for this particular subject? Of course, knowing the anatomy, knowing the various LA technique. And yes, of course, it is related to exodontia. So exodontia we are going to perform in our day to day life being the dentist. So we have to have good approach for the practical as well as the theoretical aspects. So when it comes to this subject, we should always try to correlate the uh, different chapters and different topics of the oral surgery to our clinical practices. That's not only give you the confidence for your clinical thing, but it will retain your memory for a longer duration. This subject is not only uh, important for your general dentistry or the clinical practice, but it also has a significant proportion for the exams like NEET and INICET. So if you see the previous years analysis of the questions which were asked from the oral surgery uh, in NEET MDS in 2016 in AIPG, there were 11 questions. In 2017, 18 and 19, 14, 16 and 12 questions were asked from this particular subject. In 2020, there were 15 questions and this year also there were almost 13 direct questions from oral surgery and this is very conceptual subject and since you practice this in your day to day dentistry, so you are going to crack all the 13 questions if you just read the important topics which are highlighted. So before we get into the depth of the important topics, let me discuss some of the important books, right? There are a lot of uh, books and array of the books for the uh, oral surgical aspect and you have to focus on specific topics from different books. For example, if I say mandibular fracture, you'll have to focus on the Kili and K. If I say uh, the surgical aspects of the maxillary uh, and the uh, maxillary sinus and the temporomandibular joint, then you have to focus on the principles, uh, Peterson's principles. If I have to tell you about the different other salivary gland pathology and their uh, aspects, then you have to go for the contemporary surgery, right? So uh, there are a lot of books. I'm just enlisting two of them. One is your Peterson's principles of oral and maxillofacial surgery. All the surgical aspects and all the surgical procedures are given too much details in that. And even the other books are going to refer this particular book for giving the techniques and the surgical procedures. Then we have another very beautiful book and very simple book that is your contemporary oral and maxillofacial surgery. Some people consider this to be Peterson's also. Yes, this was also written by Peterson or another authors are Larry J. Peterson, E. Ellis, J. Hupp and the Tucker. So if you uh, want a clear aspect, uh, the figure are illustrated very beautifully in this particular book. So if you want to go for this, you can read the contemporary oral and maxillofacial surgery and it is very good for your exodontia. It is very good for your salivary gland pathology and impaction is given in very much details and very lucid language is there. Then we have another book that is your Indian author. If you are willing to go for the Indian author, then Lima Malik is something that is considered as standard for the Indian examination. And we have Balaji. Other books like Fonseca is also there. So uh, there are a lot of books. We cannot count all these books. So uh, for the exam, uh, like uh, NEET as well as your NICET, you are not going to read so many of the books. That's why we have compiled the information of all these books into the bytes. So if we see our bytes here, high notes and videos are given uh, attached to the bytes actually. So there are the important topics which have been asked and a lot of questions in depth are asked from INICT as well as in NEET examination. So you have to do all these important topics here. So we have given the compilation of all the important books and important information from the books which is expected for the exam. So this is something that we have to be very thorough with and you have to remember even the smallest information from the bytes itself. Now let's see the important task for the oral surgery and I believe that if you do all these tasks perfectly, you won't miss even one question from the exams like need. 
So let's see. The first thing is of course your impaction. Uh, impaction should be discussed in details as well as the principles of the exodontia. They are important instruments. Everything has to be done in details. In impaction they will be asking most probably the classification. Sometimes they can ask questions on the surgical aspect and the surgical anatomy of the uh, impacted teeth. Right? Then we have the exodontia. So you should know the principles of the exodontia, the instruments used, the instruments which are working on those principles as well as you should know which is the most difficult extraction, which is the easiest extraction, different open extraction techniques as well as you should know the different medical emergencies which are implicated in the case of extraction. So this becomes very important and at least one or two questions are going to come from these topics itself. Then very important thing that is your local anesthesia. In local anesthesia, we have uh, discussed little bit about the general anesthesia, what is required only and rest of the things is about the local anesthesia. In the local anesthesia, you should have a complete gist of this local anesthesia and for local anesthesia, you can always refer malamed or you can refer to our bites, right? Then we have the treatment of the mandibular fractures. Now, treatment of the mandibular fracture, the standard book for this is the Kili and KN. We have taken the important gist of the Kili and KN. We have devised the strategy for the treatment of the mandibular fractures. Then we have TMJ disease. The middle third fracture again becomes very important portion. Here you should know about the different linings of the leaf for 1, 2 and 3 as well as the treatment options of the 1, 2 and 3, blowing fractures, blowout fractures, all these implications you should know specific signs for example crack point, crack pot signs or you should know about the different other Guerin signs and all. Then the classification of fracture again becomes an important point. Then uh, distraction of osteogenesis. If the examiner wants to give you a tough time, they will be giving you some of the question on distraction of osteogenesis and it has been beautifully described in the contemporary uh, oral surgery, right? So there you can see this or you can always go to the bites and see this, right? Then the treatment of the cyst and tumor. The pre-prosthetic and orthognathic surgery nowadays at least one question is going to be asked from this particular section because we have seen from the last three to four years at least one question is coming from pre-prosthetic or sometimes orthognathic surgeries and this becomes difficult for the uh, students although it is just on the gist of the subject but most of the people forget to go through this or they leave this particular chapter so do not do this mistake always read this this is very basic and if you read the basic of this you will be getting the question correct right then we have the medical emergencies in dentistry which should be correlated with the exodontia also and then we have the maxillary sinus diseases, orofacial and odontogenic infections in which space infection becomes very important and if something hard is going to come, something challenging is going to come, they might give you a question on the orofacial and the odontogenic infection. Of course, miscellaneous part 1 and miscellaneous part 2 in that certain topics in which some of the questions were asked. For example, if I write it here, biopsy, then we have cryosurgery. Then we have shock, although it is discussed in general surgery also, we can always uh, get some question on the oral surgical aspect also. Then there are other things, uh, for example, cytology and some other lasers, different uh, newer techniques for your surgical treatment. All this has been discussed in the miscellaneous part 1 and part 2. So we have given the information along with the live test information or you can say with the task about the miscellaneous 1 and 2 and we have given the topics covered in that. So you should be familiar with all these topics and if you get a grasp on these topics, no one can stop you to score 100% in your oral surgery subject at least. So oral surgery is one of the most interesting subject and it is like it has some emotional connect to the students also so you should always take the benefit of that and you should just clear your concept it doesn't require any cramming you just have to be familiar with the important concepts and you are through with this particular subject i hope we have made the strategy clear for this particular subject still if you have any other queries you can of course go to the comment section and comment your queries there we'll surely reply you if you are seeing value in this video give it a thumbs up it really makes a huge difference for us Please share the video and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for the newer videos. Thank you.